Welcome! In this video, we'll help you set up your Zwift Play controllers. In the box, you'll find two. The left controller has black buttons, and the right controller has colorful buttons. There's also a quick start guide, charging cable, and a pair of spacers. Let's get started! First, grab one controller. Tuck it underneath your bike shifter. Make sure it's flush to the brake hood. Once you got that going, stretch the strap around your handlebar and loop it over the plastic hook. The strap should be tight so your controllers stay put. Next, you're going to do the same with the other controller. Your controllers are now attached. This is what they should look like. Ready for the wiggle test? Press the buttons a few times. A little movement is okay. If they move too much, it's time for the spacers. To use the spacers, unhook the play controllers from the bars and insert the spacers. Reattach and you're ready to go. If you haven't already done so, download the Zwift app on the device you will be using. You should also download the Zwift Companion app using your phone's app store. The Zwift Companion app makes Zwifting more fun and is the place to go to update the Zwift Play firmware. Before starting your first ride, make sure Zwift Play firmware is up to date using the Zwift Companion app. To do that, first turn on both of your Play controllers by pressing the Z logo button on each. Once the Z starts pulsing blue, you can pair. Navigate to the Zwift hardware tab on the home screen. Tap on your Zwift controllers in the menu to connect to them one at a time. The Z button's LED will turn solid blue when connected. If there is a firmware update available, the app will let you know. It's good like that. Simply tap the Update Firmware button to start the update. The Z button LED should turn solid yellow to show that the update is in process. After finishing the update, the Zwift Play controller will restart on its own. You're almost finished. Time to pair your controllers to the Zwift app. Open Zwift on your device and log in. Make sure the Z button is pulsing blue and ready to pair. On the pairing screen, select the steering control panel and the Zwift Play controllers from the detected devices list. The Z button LED will turn solid blue. Now you will be able to see the battery level percentage of each of your controllers. If the battery level is low, you can plug the charging cable in to charge them. Still want to ride? No problem. You can charge and ride at the same time. The controllers also let you know when you need to charge them. When the Z flashes orange, it's time to plug them in. The controllers will pulse green when they're charging. Click on the Let's Ride button to get started. If this is your first time connecting, there is a handy tutorial in the Zwift app to teach you the basics. This tutorial is the best way to learn about using your Play. It will walk you through the specifics, like using the orange analog paddle for steering and braking, and how to use the navigation buttons. Your controllers will enter sleep mode automatically if you don't use them for three minutes. If you need to turn them off, you can hold down the Z logo button for about three seconds. Once the Z logo button is no longer lit, you're done. We'll see you in Watopia.